Hi everyone, it's Julie at the Paper Bag Lady One, and I'm here today with a project to show you. This is a wedding album for my good friend Rachel. Rachel got married in October, <laughs> and I finally, finally got around to making this album for her. So I thought that I would show it to you um, because I was pretty pleased. I was pretty pleased with how it turned out. I wasn't really sure um, how I was going to work. As you can see here, I have pairs. I wasn't sure I was going to work the pairs in. Um, but we had pairs as a theme in the wedding, so here it is. So anyway, so this is the album, and I will try to show you what I used in it. Although, you know, I started this, and I don't have anything. <laughs> I don't have anything with me. So pathetic. But I think I can manage it. Okay, so anyway, so here on the cover, this is the invitation, obviously, for her wedding. Um, I like to use the invitation on the front covers if I have one because I just I just think that's really cool. So anyway, the paper is um, a Kay & Company, some kind of fall stack, I can't remember. Um, and I've used it actually for a couple different fall weddings. So anyway, the flowers are all I Am Roses and they're all sprayed either, uh, these are Flat Fabio Sandra D. Sepia, Sepia? sepia. I always have a hard time with that one. And Grease Lightning Green. And the last one is Kissin' Kaniki Coral. So those are the colors that I used for the flowers from Lindy's Stamp Gang. And then the, um, the leaves are actually a variety of things. Some of them are I Am Roses. Some of them are from Michael's. Some of them are probably other things. When I get to them, I'll tell you what they are. And then these little um, viney things um, are, let's find it. Here we go. It's a cherry Lynn dye. It's called the Flourish Leaf Strip. Um, and that's the first time I used it. And I was pleased. I was very delighted with the way it, it worked out. So anyway, um, so that is what those are. And then the pears the pears are a Sizzix die. Um, it was a set of three different ones. And all the pears are die cut on different sparkly paper. I think it was from Recollections. It's actually paper that Rachel sent to me um, that she had gotten for use in, in wedding favors or plannings or whatever, and she didn't use it. And so she sent it to me and I decided to use it for the pears. I like the way it looked. And also some of these flourishes are cut with, with that. Um, but anyway, so there we go. There is the front cover. And you go inside. Um, sorry, there's glare from the sparklies. There's more pairs. These, there's some felt leaves, and here's like a cardstock leaf with some glitter on it. Those Rachel sent to me also, so I decided to use them. These here, and the fo the photo mats actually measure four or six and a half by four and a half. Most of them do. So a four by six picture would still fit on there, and you can slide it underneath these. And then these open up so you have room for two more four by six photos. And oh, I lied. You know what? There's some other paper in here which I think I can't remember what it is. I don't think it might be a die cuts with a view. Autumn Splendor, maybe? I think that one's from that. But anyway, um, so I did use a couple other things in there. And then over here, these all pull out. These are again four and a half by six and a half. And then this one is a little smaller. I think it's four and a quarter by six. And then this is um, also a Sizzix die. And here we have more leaves and flowers and whatnot over here. This one is five by seven. It does not open up. Um, you can slide under this if you want. That started out being a Tim Holtz die. And it was just too big and pointy and all sorts of things. So I kind of trimmed it and cut it down and then used a border punch on it. And it's not my favorite look, but you know what? It works. So anyway, um, so that's what those are here. Some more leaves. This is another one that Rachel sent me. I honestly don't know where she got them. This is also five by seven and this one opens up and then also has two tags that pull out there. This is another one that opens up. I can get it open. I try to not make them real tight, but as you can see, I'm having a problem finding which part to actually pull. So pathetic. Um, anyway, so that one opens up also. 
As you can tell, Rachel had a, a fall kind of wedding. It was October, and her main colors, I believe, were brown and then like kind of a, a mossy color green, which is like this, and then an orange, which was kind of more this lighter color down here. Um, this probably would have matched almost like a kind of a pale pumpkin orange. At least that's how it looked in the pictures, but I have a picture that she sent me and I held it up against all the papers and they seem to look good, so I thought that was okay. Um, so anyway, so there are some darker colors in there as well. And again, more mats in here to pull out. This one, I'm not gonna open this one, but this one also opens up. Again, we have the assortment of leaves and, and flowers and pears. I was really kind of worried about using the pears, um, but I actually liked the way they looked. And I um, was thinking, will I ever use this die again? But you know what, I have, I think it's called the botanical stack from Die Cuts with a View, and I think that'll look really well. And I also have some different kitchen things that the pears might work well with. So anyway, so that opens up also. This paper and this paper are both from the, the other stack. I think it was the fall stack from Die Cuts with a View or something. And then here's the last page. We have some stamps. They're Inka Dinka do. And these, oh, that one I think is a Fisker stamp, but all the other stamps are from a wedding set that I don't have the packaging for, and I honestly don't know where it came from. But I like it. I use it a lot um, when I do wedding albums. So anyway, and there is the last page. And this one also unties and opens up as well. So. That is Rachel's wedding album. I hope that she likes it. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Um, I love these colors. These are some of my favorite colors to work with. And so it, it, it was really, really fun. And when I did this, I found that I had a boatload. <laughs> I had a boatload more of these packs of paper. I must have bought them on clearance for some ridiculously good price. Because when I started, I had about five stacks. <laughs> and that's diminished now. But um at any rate, I can do a lot of fun things yet with that, and I think I'll continue to use the pears. I know some of the paper also has apples and pumpkins and things that I didn't use in this, so I should be able to do some nice um, harvesty looking things. So anyway, so I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or, uh, you know, give me a holler. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear what you think. Um, so thank you everybody for watching, and I hope you all have a great evening, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.